Supernova, Luna, A True Love, by Swishdown. One evening, Luna couldn't sleep, so she decided to take a walk around the castle. Everything was so quiet. There were only a few guards were still awake. She went out to the balcony with a view over the castle garden. She looked at the moon and she's thinking about that she has everything she could ever want except for one thing. Someone to love. She hasn't even been dating for at least a thousand years. She hasn't found the right pony for her. Even she wants to remember her last date was about maybe about a few dates before she turned to be Nightmare Moon. She wants to find the right pony for her, but she has, well, been a little bit shy since when she returned back to Equestria. She didn't know exactly who or when she will find one. Even she has tried to find her true love with her dream walking ability, but no luck is found. Even she interact with many other ponies in Cantalot or even the rest of the quest, but none of them seems to be the right one for her. Even she has been asked by several other male stallions over the last few months to walk to go out with him, but she didn't think that that would be the right one for her. She even wonders, will she even find someone for her? Excuse me. Oh. Luna walked, turned around, and heard of someone talking to her. She looked around, but she couldn't see anyone. Excuse me. Over here. She looked up, and then she saw a bat pony. Excuse me, your highness. I saw you were quite alone, and so I wonder if you want some company. Oh. Yeah. I, I couldn't really get some company, said Luna. I'm Sora, my name is Supernova. I am one of the Royal Guard of the Night Guards. Nice to meet you. I am Luna. What a lovely name, said Supernova. You can call me whatever you want. Well, Nova. It's nice to, nice to meet you. Hmm, Nova. I like that name. So what brings the Princess of the Night out here? Well, couldn't sleep, she said. Oh? Difficult to sleep? Kinda. I've been hard of trouble to sleep for the last few days, she said. Back. Yeah, I can understand that. It happens to me sometimes. But I always keep them awake. Said no. He was quiet for a moment, but then he looked at her. He couldn't even see that she was even blushing, but when she when he was looking at her. Are you feeling uncomfortable with my presence, Your Highness? Oh, um, no. Why? Well, I can see you're kind of blushing when you're not looking at you. Oh. You still know this? Yes. May I ask you something, Luna? Of course, said Luna back. Well, there is something I want to ask you. Well, what is it? Hmm, how do I put it? 
Would the princess of the night would like to go out with me some night, some time? You know, she was very surprised that a night guard, especially a royal guard, asking her out, especially a bad pony. She was actually a little bit surprised. She never thought a guard would ask her out. But most times when someone asked her out, she said no. But she could sense that something was much different and unusual with Nova. He was brave, he was strong, fast, even good looking for you say. Well, sure. When? Hmm. How about tonight? Right now? Oh, where? I know a place we can go to get something to eat. I can show you a way. If you want to go, of course. Sure. I like that. So, Supernova to with Luna to a small to a local place. Not a restaurant, but some sort of a local bar or like a tavern. Here we are. I never seen this place before. Well this place has been around for at least a long time. For at least for the last five hundred years. Most of the royal guards came here for well Something that we can go eat. They have this great food here. I can show you. Come in. I know the owner. Supernova, you're here. Oh, Princess Luna, said the owner. Hi, my doll. Yes, this is my, my lovely date tonight. <laughs> well, you're both welcome. The usual. Ah, things are not on the front thing different today. I'll let Luna she decide what to going to eat. Luna was so bit surprised that that supernova will have actually let her decide. And there were not much many others in you know, at at this tavern. Only a few others, some of the guards or some other local ponies. But Nova and Luna didn't actually have a good, bad time at this time. Supernova told a lot of great stories and sometimes jokes or something to Luna. And she actually laughed a lot of time, almost the entire time. <laughs> that was a great story, Luna. Supernova said Luna after they left the bad time. Yeah, that time was actually kind of great. Seeing those ponies chasing me after I fooled them, after they thought I was a great dragon. <laughs> after they left the town, they take a stroll through town, just to get to know each other. Later, back at the, pa at the castle, well, Princess Luna, it has been a great evening with you. I'm hoping maybe you can. Do something like this some other time. Yeah, I has actually had a great time. I had this fun in years, said Luna. Well, thank you for tonight, said Luna. And she actually kissed the supernova on his cheek. After she went in the castle, Supernova, he was so happy and so happy. he flies so fast around in the air, doing loops, loopy loops, and dying so fast and flying so fast in the sky. He was so happy. Early the next morning at the ca at the castle dinner room, Celestia and Luna was eating their breakfast. So Luna, how was the night? Couldn't you sleep? No, but something else happened at night. Oh, you tell, says Leslie. Well, one of the royal guards actually asked me out last night. One of the royal guards asked you out? 
she said, said Celestia. She was a little bit curious about what was happening. Who? Um, his name was Supernova. Oh, him. You know him? Yeah, I know him. He's an accent guard. He has saved my life a few times before. Really? Yeah. He seems to be, well, excited, even a brave one. But I think he has a, some sort of crush on you. Oh, how do you know? Well, he actually told one of some of his friends of the guard that he actually likes you more than you think. Oh, seriously. You like him, don't you? Asked Celestia. Yeah, I think so. He has been so sweet to me. Luna then spent the rest of the day taking some care of some royal business. Some meetings, talking about the ponies. But she couldn't stop thinking about Supernova. Even she wanted to talk to him right now, but she couldn't. He was actually asleep, since bad ponies sleep during the day. But she went to his to his quarters, and she could actually see him sleeping. Even if she would try to talk to him, he wouldn't get any response from him. But instead, she walked into him and gave him a kiss on the cheek as well, and then left quietly. But one after she closed the door, Supernova smiled in his sleep. It was like he knew that she was there, but at the same time, he was a deep sleep. Later that after that evening, Celestia went to bed as early as usual, but Luna couldn't sleep this night either. Even she tried for a couple of hours of sleep, but but she couldn't. After she raised the moon, she went to bed to try to some sleep. But after trying for at least the four hours, she decided to give up the try. So she took a stroll in the castle, went to this the royal kitchen to something to eat, and went into the castle garden. Then she heard a voice. Good evening, Princess Luna. She looked up. And up in a tree sat, actually, Supernova. Are you here of following me everywhere I go? No, princess, I'm just sitting here. I feel like just sitting here in the garden. It's kind of peaceful. Even I don't do that, I always sit here. Has perfect hiding spot if someone were trying to enter it from the castle, from the castle garden. Said Luke, no. Luna just smiled when he talked to her. Do you want something to eat? Yeah, I'm kinda hungry. Here, said Luna, and then she used her magic to levitate a sandwich up to Supernova. Thank you, Your Highness. Please, it's call me Luna, said she. Well then, Luna, thank you. Supernova and Luna, they talked to each other from during the time, the night, but they didn't actually went out for some of this date, but only they just talked. But then, Supernova left the tree and sat down next to Luna, and kept talking. They talked almost the entire night together, and Luna said then, I really like your company. You're realist, you're honest, you're great at telling us stories, jokes. I don't know what to say, you're well, a funny bad pony. I never noticed, I don't know as much many bad ponies actually. Well, princess, you are not bad as you say. You are always kind to me, you're always smiling, and it makes me feel happy actually, even when you're in your company. May you light like maybe go out tomorrow with me? I am actually out of duty then. Sure, said Luna. 
Luna and Supernova they spend the rest of the night together, talking, talking, smiling, laughing. Luna actually started to like Supernova even more. And after that, he asked her out a second time. She was actually interesting to see what kind of date he would take her next time. And early next night, Luna was waiting in the castle garden for Noah. I'm sorry if I'm late, Your Highness. No, you're not late. You're just in time, said Luna. Luna and Supernova. They went to a local park or small lake nearby the castle where they had a night picnic. Supernova told some funny jokes during the picnic and he had actually bring back a basket with some sandwiches, a chocolate cake, an apple cider, even a most perfect dessert chocolate cupcakes with whipped cream after they had eaten their picnic Luna was laying against on Supernova's shoulder he looked at her with a smile and he let her his, his head on her shoulder on her head and they used sit there watch the moon light glimmering in the lake and just was quiet they listened to the silence of the night but then of the break of the silence supernova then asked if Luna want to be his girlfriend.